Also, by the way, don't expect anything from this game. I'm going to warn you right now that Duke Nukem 3D is a mess. <laughs> you know, just things like things like testing and stuff like that. Just pr pretend that pretend that the Tiger team just ignored that because the GameCom was a massive failure, a huge flop. It was a, it, it it sucked. And it's, it's for reasons like this. Uh, LA, I'm sure this is LA melt. You know what? And I'm gonna, I'm gonna put the difficulty way down because I, I know that this game is is extremely, extremely difficult. Oh yeah, that font. I love that. Je left justify. Oh wow! Holy shit! I can see. Um. Okay, this is actually this is new. Um, the actual GameCom screen is like green and it's blurry as shit. So all those guys I just shot, you cannot see them on the handheld version. This emulator is fantastic, lets me cheat at games. Oh, nope, okay, that's... So... C shoots... That? Uh... Hang on, hang on. Something very weird here. Uh... How do I... I don't know how to turn. I guess you don't turn in this game. I don't remember. Uh... Alright. It's our first obstacle. A door. Do I push two buttons at once? Nope, that's a shotgun. Did the door kick it? Nope. Okay. Uh, okay. You interact with the door by holding forward and pressing D. They give you three buttons to sh just to do this with your gun, but they don't give you a button just to interact with objects. Okay. So uh, keep this keep this in mind. Uh, I would imagine when you tip a stripper in this game, you have to hold forward and press D, otherwise you'll just shoot her in the face. Wait, that's a wall. Oh, 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 okay, wow. It, it turns, it, it turns for me. <laughs> so, <laughs> at first I thought this was unbeatable. I'm like, oh shit, I can't go anywhere. But no, you hit forward, and then Duke does this, it does like an action thing where you go around the corner. Okay, whatever, whatever. I don't, I can't tell if I'm making progress. I swear to God, I've been here. Forward ND. Uh, okay, we're in like a movie theater. And, oh, is this the porno theater from Duke Nukem 3D? We're gonna get to see some pixelized GameCom boobs. I'm excited. I'm stoked. Oh, that's the end of the level. Yes, okay. Uh, God damn it. Okay. Forward and D. Yeah, we did it. We beat Hollywood Holocaust. I'm trying to think of a, of a, any FPS game where you can only look forward. That's so. Oh wait, wait, wait. There it is. Yes. Oh wait, we're going to the left this time. Nice. Oh, that's one of the that's one of the reptiles with the minigun. I always like them. I always like the reptiles. Of course. It's not... okay. Before I say Duke Nukem 3D on the GameCom is not bad, I also need to preface it by saying it's not good, but in comparison to the games around it, it's, it's not the worst GameCom game. All you do is walk in a straight line and shoot everything. <laughs> Literally, that's all you do. I picked up a key card. Uh oh, wait. You can go left or right. Now, this is a conundrum. How's the game gonna handle this? Is it gonna. Oh, you have to just press left or. Okay. <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> 
I like how I'm, I'm interested how the game is going to handle the conundrum of <laughs> of, of a T junction. You want to bone the pig cops? What the hell? This is Gator Box. It's reptiles only here. Also, that's very weird because the pig cops are gross. Looking, just looking for a door. I'm just blocked. Oh, there we go. There, yeah. Now we're playing the Goonies on NES. <laughs> I I don't know how they managed to cram three episodes into this, and I would be damned if there's actually a boss fight in this game too. Just. Where's the end? Yeah, I know, we've we've made a circle. Oh, okay, here we go. Oh, yes, yeah, all right. Auto-destruct. This is the, that's the part in the game when you, you get up to it and you go. Oh, oh shit. So I feel like it's just gonna be a matter of just running down a hallway. This is like, um, shit, what was it? Uh, playable, playable teaser, playable tra the playable trailer, the Silent Hill teaser. If you put a gun in it, I do like the, I like the the wall texture in in this level. It's pretty cool. It's very Doom like. Of all, like I said, out of all the Gamecom games, I would probably say this one has like now that I can actually see them and it's not just a blurry mess. This one probably has like some of the best graphics on the handheld. And it's it has a frame rate of like two frames a second, but it's it's playable. I'm here to kick ass and play shitty games. And I'm all out of ass. Damn, I'm good. Also, you know what I've noticed so far? No strippers to tip. So GameCom lacking. Oh, we got a cutscene. Wait, no, we had no. Never mind. <laughs> we had a a picture. See, here's here's the thing that's weird about this game is that normally like a Duke Nukem game is action packed and there's a lot to react to, but now it's just kind of like, oh, a room. Oh, here comes the hallway. We're gonna turn left in a second. Remember that time there was a T junction? Holy shit, that was intense. I didn't know which way to go. <laughs> Some guy working for Tiger bought Game.com. He told his buddies at work, and he's like, Game? What's that? Okay, there's been a lot of empty rooms. Are we about to fight the Cyclops boss? I hope so. That sounds like fun. Oh, no, it's just this. <laughs> what the hell? There's nobody here. Great. I, maybe we got to the part where they just gave up. They're like, eh, just, we're out of space on the cartridge. Just, just define. No one's gonna make it this far. Who cares? I don't know. I, I don't know if that's right. Oh wait, no. There's a guy. Thank God. I'm so happy to see you. Hang on. Uh, game froze. <laughs> oh shit! No! We got so far! This is like, like the fifth stage! Thanks, Gamecom. Man. Let's, let's restart and go back to the, uh... Um, let's just pick the final chapter. What a, what a horrible, what a horrible handheld. <laughs> yeah, I know, Duke Nukem is 3D Realms and you did something bad with the license. Can we skip this part? Episode 3. <laughs> Raw meat. This it's it's honestly it's it's more of the same. It's the it's the same exact thing. <laughs> this, this music, movie set. 
Look, it's a real life movie. We're on this. We're, it's it's an official movie. Oh look, there's a light. That's how we know we're on a movie set. Oh shit. That's a subway car. Holy shit. Look at that. They're pulling out all the stops here. <laughs> there's two different wall textures at once. I really wish I could shoot and move at this. There we go. I, I like how <laughs> it's like floating. <laughs> it's, <laughs> it's a texture. It's a, it's, it's a graphic that's clearly not meant to be placed on a wall of that orientation. Oh shit, there's another T junction. I don't know what to do. Let's go. Um, we went left at the last one, I think. Let's. Uh, Let's go right. Let's mix it up a bit. I'm feeling crazy tonight. Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. There's doors now. What's going on? Is Are they just coming up with, with ideas in real time? Can I go left? And Okay, those, those doors appear to be only for show. Or wait, do I have to... Nope, nope, that's not working. <laughs> those are not real doors. You can only open the door when it's right in front of you. <laughs> We're actually going through the third chapter of this pretty fast. Alright, Hollywood- oh, okay, we've looped over. So, <laughs> we beat it. We beat Duke Nukem 3D. <laughs> it you beat three or four stages, you get a picture of Duke looking at something, and then it, you, you beat, you win. That's how you know, that's how you know that you've won, is Duke looks at something. <laughs>